Chanel Spring Summer 2010, a pastoral and rural feel under the glass roof of the Grand Palais for the Chanel collection. Rolling around in the hay in frayed tweed and short floaty dresses, Karl Lagerfeld has once again managed to blow away his audience. Hermes Autumn Winter 2009. On the airstrip at Hermes, against the background of propellers, beautiful leather helmets were teamed with aviator jackets and flying suits. John Galliano Spring Summer 2010. Weightless balloons which went up in smoke, a red lit tunnel, John Galliano is the unrivaled master of set design. For autumn winter 2009-2010, he transported us to a faraway voyage to Russia and the Ukraine. Tsarinas appeared in a halo of light and walked out into a snowstorm. An explosion of gold leaf at Kenzo and created a spectacular and enchanting effect. Oversized decor at Victor and Rolf, a giant world map and a young girl in a pink tutu made up a three-dimensional scene. Kenzo Men Spring Summer 2010. A standstorm right in the heart of the 13th district of Paris. The artistic director, Antonio Maras, was inspired by the expeditions of Pierre Bratza and covered the set with a cloud of fine sand. A mass of metal sheets and tires, it created an exuberant mood at Alexander McQueen. For his summer collection, McQueen surpassed himself once again. This show was our personal favorite of the season. A show worthy of a large-scale Hollywood production as Raquel Zimmerman writhed around naked on a giant screen. And to finish with something beautiful, Sonia Riquel and Swedish brand H&M celebrated their collaboration under the glass roof of the Grand Palais, which had been transformed to the occasion into Sonia Riquel's Parisian universe. Fanfares, cheerleaders and scantily clad young girls paraded around in this highly charged atmosphere. It was, without a doubt, the party of the year and not to be missed.